I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate to this somewhat annoying problem. You hop on your beloved PC, hoping to get it up and running, only to be hit with an error message. Hmm, okay, not a problem, you say. You hop onto the BIOS with the F12 key, you go ahead and set the time and the date correctly, kind of feeling relieved that you have solved the problem, only for you to return the next day and get the same thing. You see, I just bought this PC on eBay yesterday and the seller had assured me that everything was in top working condition. Now, see, no worries, help is here. The CMOS battery in this case is responsible for this and is a typical behavior when it starts to fail. But just in case you didn't know, the CMOS battery is a component of the motherboard and it helps keep the BIOS functioning properly irrespective of the customizations that might be happening on the board. And that's the reason why when your CMOS battery starts to fail, your BIOS firmware will shut down and reverse to its default setting whenever you shut down the PC. But the good news is that changing the CMOS battery is pretty much an easy process. All you have to do is to shut down the PC and take off the top cover as the case may be, then locate the CMOS battery and gently pry it out using a screwdriver or any other flat object. Thereafter, safely get hold of the EVO battery and dispose of it in a friendly manner. You should be able to get a good quality battery on eBay or on Amazon, and when you do, gently slide it onto the battery socket to get things up and running again. So changing the CMOS battery on your PC, like you see, is pretty much a straightforward process. But do make sure to check this video here because it will show you how you can go about changing the defective RAM on your PC.